Hello and welcome to the channel. Be sure to share, like, and comment down below. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button for daily videos on news and politics. So joining us now, South Carolina Congressman Trey Gowdy, chairman of the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee, also member of the House Intel Committee. Uh, and you were one of those who saw some of the background documents related to this issue of whether or not there was a spy or an informant in the campaign late last week. Um, anything you can share on a broad scale about what, what went down there? I think there are two things important to understand. Number one, the source of President Trump's frustration. Uh, Brennan said he should be in the dustpen of history. Comey said impeachment's too good of a remedy. Clapper doesn't like him. Loretta Lynch said call it a matter, not an investigation. Schiff said he had evidence of collusion before we even began the investigation. And 60 Democrats have voted to impeach him before Bob Mueller has come up with a single solitary finding. That's what's got him frustrated. What should have him heartened is the fact that Chris Ray, Rod Rosenstein, and all the senior folks at DOJ now were all Trump appointees. So here's what's fair to ask. What did the FBI do? When did they do it? What was the factual predicate upon which they took whatever actions they took and against whom were they directed? But remember, Martha, it was President Trump himself who said, number one, I didn't collude with Russia, but if anyone connected with my campaign did, I want the FBI to find that out. It looks to me like the FBI was doing what President Trump said, I want you to do, find it out. He's not the target. So when Schiff and others don't make that clear, they're doing a disservice to our fellow citizens. He's when, not the target. But this raises the question that the president raised in, the, in this one of those tweets. There were a lot of them, uh, and which we talked about quite a bit here last week, is if that were the case, why didn't they give him a little briefing? So here's what we found out. Uh, you know, We do have somebody who asked some questions of George Papadopoulos. We do have somebody who's asked questions of, um, of Carter Page. Here's what you need to know. Um, I, I think defensive briefings are done a lot, and why the Comey FBI didn't do it, um, I don't know. But Chris Ray and Rod Rosenstein have at least made it clear to us Donald Trump was never the target of the investigation. He's not the current target in the investigation. Now, keep in mind, that can all change depending on what a witness says. But as of now, I think Chris Ray and Rod Rosenstein are stunned whenever people think Trump is the target of their investigation. I'll leave it up to them how to brief the president or was how to brief his lawyers. Was that point of view that you're talking about right now, was that strengthened when you went into this briefing last week? Yes. I, I, am, I am even more convinced that the FBI did exactly what my fellow citizens would want them to do when they got the information they got and that it has nothing to do with Donald Trump. All right. So given the things that were over here on your right hand, all the frustrations, um, do you think it's problematic the way the president has is tweeting about this all the time because because he feels like he needs to get he needs to vent he's got to get his message out there is it legally problematic in your mind what he's doing i think anytime you create prior statements you give Mueller or other folks a chance to question you on them and ask uh, what was your factual basis why did you say that uh, the president should have access to the best legal minds in the country um, and i think he should take advantage of those and he's got some really good communicators that are on his staff and at his at his call. Uh, if I were his lawyer, and I never will be, I would tell him to rely on his lawyers and his comms folks. All right, here's one of them. Uh, Rudy Giuliani speaking with Bill Hammer over the holiday weekend. Watch this. What's wrong with the government trying to figure out what Russia was up to? Nothing wrong with the government doing that. Everything wrong with the government spying on a candidate of the opposition party. That's a Watergate. Spygate. I mean, uh, and without any warning to him. And now, to compound that, to make it into a criminal investigation, Bill, that's why this is a rigged investigation. There, there are two things wrong with what the former U.S. attorney said. Uh, number one, no one knows whether this is a criminal investigation. Mueller was told to do a counterintelligence investigation into what Russia did. Uh, number two, President Trump himself in the Comey memo said, if anyone connected with my campaign, was working with Russia. I want you to investigate it. And it sounds to me like that is exactly what the FBI did. I think when the president finds out what happened, he, he's going to be not just fine. He's going to be glad that we have an FBI that took seriously what they heard. He was never the target. Russia so is the target. So it sounds to me as if you would advise him that there's no problem with him sitting down with Robert Mueller. Oh, absolutely not. I, I, I have always said I think you ought to sit down with Bob Mueller. You've told us publicly there was no collusion. You've told us publicly there was no obstruction. Say in private what you've said publicly. Limit the scope to exactly what the, what the Mueller memo is. 
But but if he were my client, and I'd say if you've done nothing wrong, then you need to sit down and tell Mueller what you he, know. All right. Uh, you know, we had, there was one judge who said that the, the scope was all over the place. Do you feel comfortable with the scope of this investigation? And do you feel like your committee has, has been shared with uh, to the extent that that exists, that the scope exists? I'm not sure what the scope of the Mueller probe is, but I know this. Rosenstein is the one who created the memo. Right. It's not Bob Mueller's fault. Have you it's, seen that memo? I have. I have. I, I've seen the memo that you've seen also. The, the, the other memo some of my colleagues want to see is a more narrow... Right. Um, the one that basically permission. says investigate Russia and all re anything related to it. it, it, it and, and as a Pretty throwaway broad. line at the end, and of course, if there's any criminality, look at that too. I mean, we run towards the criminality, but, but I would think everyone would want to know what Russia did. So, I, so I mean, with whom, if anyone, is the second part. The first question is, what did Russia do? We'll see. Trey, thank you very much. Yes, Good to see you, Congressman. All right. So if you'd like to support the channel, do so by clicking the links in the description below. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. And be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below as well. And tell me how you feel about this report. Let's make America great again. I appreciate every single one of you. Peace.